will everyone join yeah did you guys get to watch the films yeah yeah and what did you think amolika what did you think all the movies were amazing yeah all of them were very inspirational that's nice and what about azura what did you think how did you get a chance to watch any of the films yes now i watched like two or three and they were really good so the whole point of this adda is for us in case like stay home stay safe or something if there's a if there's a film that we watched and supposing if azura made it or you didn't but if you did then now we'll be like oh let's find out what happened in azura's brain that she made this film so that's what this whole adda is about we're just going to get to know one another and we're going to get to know what inspires all of us and what makes us what brings us to footprint film festival all right okay so i'll just give you a rundown of how it's going to go we're all going to introduce ourselves we're going to introduce our films and then i'm going to have like a little q and a session with you all maybe individually maybe in groups we'll see how it goes this is a 40 minute session it may exceed a little bit cuz most of the time these get very very fun okay and uh, the whole point is so that we all can talk to one another and get to know one another the same way we would if we were in a room together okay which is why it is a little bit important that everyone puts their cameras on so we all have a little bit more of a connecty feeling yeah i want to see who i'm talking to okay yeah when you begin uh just we need to um uh, oh, yeah so that's why we we'll wait for everyone great okay shorya mathur is here too hi everyone who's joining can you all please turn your cameras on we can't begin until majority of your cameras are on so uh, yeah. can you forgive me a minute let me know a minute before you're going to begin okay sure uh, i need to be live streaming this sure sure all right uh yeah and for your information this is going to be live streamed on facebook so you really want your faces there okay now okay so bidisha i think we can begin okay give me a minute please yeah hey kabir you're back we met you last year yeah <laughs> so once i get the go we go okay Okay. Yeah, I think all of them have joined. Okay. Okay. So, hi everyone, and welcome. As you all can see, my name is Jennifer Majro, and I work with Footprint, and I'm your anchor for today, Medha over here. Hi, Medha. Hi. She's our manager. And if there are any technical glitches, if you can't hear me at any point, or if something like that happens. you can either use the little chat box that we have or just tell medha that hey i can't hear jennifer anymore okay so that can happen all right up next we're going to all keep our cameras on we'll stay on mute so we can hear one another and uh yeah that's about it footprint film festival 2021 is so happy to have you all here before we begin our introductions i want to introduce parna ghosh So Parna Ghosh is a contributor to Footprint Film Festival. She's super important, and she's from a company called Pure Elegance. And she is one of the many people that has allowed Footprint Film Festival to be as successful as it is. Now Parna can't join us, but she has sent in a video for us, and we're going to listen to what she has to say, and then we're going to begin our adda session. All right. So let's hear let's from hear. Parna Ghosh.
I would like to wish all the best on your upcoming film festival. We would also like to thank Footprint for this excellent initiative to give opportunities to young talents. Keep making good films. All the best. Thanks. That was her. That was Parna Ghosh. Okay. And she wishes you all all the best and me too. Okay. So now we're going to go one by one and introduce ourselves. And you all are going to be extremely enthusiastic and raise your hand and volunteer, okay? I'm not going to be calling out names. So I want to know what your name is, how old you are, and what your film is called, okay? And once we know that, then we'll go a little bit deeper into our question and answers. So who would like to go first? Yeah, wait, oh, his hand went up and went back down. Samarth wrote that. Come on, Samarth, we all saw that. <laughs> Where's he? Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I, we can hear you, Samarth. Go ahead. Uh, so my name is Samarth Kinta. I'm 16 years old and uh, I made the film Let Me Live. Okay. Hi, Samarth. Up next, who are we? Who's gonna go next? Okay, Sonakshi Saha. Uh, my name is Sonakshi Saha, and I'm 12 years old. And the name of my movie is Make This World a Better Place. Okay. Who's gonna go next? Shorya, let's go. So, am I audible? Yes. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Shaurya Mathur. I'm 17 and I'm representing the International School. My movie's name is Introspection, and which is kind of based on the present situation of COVID-19. Okay. Okay, Amolika, you're up next. My name is Amolika Bhattacharya. I'm 11 years old and my movie is called Now or Never. It's on the environment. Okay. Intense. Everything's everyone's coming from so many different genres and so many so many different things that are inspiring them. Okay, who'd like to go next? We still have Ritam Roy, Kabir, who was with us last year too. Kabir, how about you go? You can go next. Yeah. So uh, my name is Kabir, and I am sixteen years old, uh, studying in Sardar Pudey. Uh, and my film's name is uh, We Stand for Peace. It's it's a it's quite a political film and um, it basically says the motive of the students to the nation so. okay all right thank you well, obviously we'll get to know more about all of our films uh, in a few minutes azura you had put your hand up would you like to introduce yourself yes i'm azura lal i'm 11 years old and my film is about gender equality Right. You know, when I was like 13, <laughs> that wasn't what was on my mind. You guys are so cool. Okay. Who would like to go next? How about we go with, um, who hasn't gone yet? Ritam, quietly sitting there. Come on, let's hear from you. Yes. My name is Ritam Rahal. I'm 13 years old. My film is called Play Button. This is about, uh, my film is about a teenage boy who he feels depressed and sad during the lockdown and how he overcomes it. Okay, great. So has anyone been left out? Because I'm assuming the rest of us who are here are audience members. Yeah, okay, Whoa, okay. Aman and Charvi. Okay, so we'll go in that order. Aman, go, you can go first. My name is Amai and I made a film called Reni. It's about my grandmother. She's an artist. Okay, very nice. And Charvi? My name is Charvi Shuan. I'm 14 years old. My film is called Environment. It's based on environmental problems and what steps uh, we can Charvi, take to uh, I can't, uh, we can't hear you too well. Can you speak a little louder and a little slower? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. My name is Shadi Shiran. I'm 14 years old. My film is called Environment. It's based on the various environmental problems and what steps can we take to improve the environment condition. Okay, great stuff. So guys, 
now now that we know who made which film we're going to have a little q and a okay so i want you all to tell me like ritam and who was it was it kabir one minute no 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 ritam okay let's just start with ritam so how come you made the uh, your film about covid 19 like yesterday i hosted a session and a lot of people some people have made films about covid 19 and from the perspective of covid so why do you think it's important to make a film which has a little bit of this reality in it um i think uh, uh, i made this film about covid 19 because uh, hello yeah i can hear you we all can hear you oh i got stuck in a odd place yeah i'm back okay i think uh, i made this uh, film about covid 19 uh, uh, i made this film about lockdown and a child who feels lonely and depressed while locked in lockdown and can't talk to his friends in school feel he uh, roams around here and there and can't concentrate in his studies yeah. so he so he follows his passion and at last reached his goal okay lovely lovely and yeah i think that's very important and i think uh, like i said yesterday it's a great time capsule kind of thing where we'll all look back on this and be like how did we live through that that's crazy okay thanks ritam up next i'd like to ask kabir now you made a political film so i want to know why do you think it's important to make po- political films and secondly where did you get the guts to make a political film from what inspired you to be like i know this may not be taken well by everyone but i still need to make it yeah so the, the my, there wasn't any motive just to um, just to showcase what's happening and what uh, what people think about what is happening just give a point of view to give my point of view then that's what and why film why, and why film why not a book why not an article how come film because itna pura likha rahi hu matlab filmi se theek hu baaki badhiya that's awesome and that's what it is all about <laughs> and i think like for me if you think that making films is easy like i'm sure all of you filmmakers think that i can't do anything else film is so easy for me it blows my mind how much work that goes into it and you guys have done such a great job so good job okay next another little political but very important topic gender equality azura how come you decided to make this and you may have seen many other films on gender equality what do you think is different about yours mine is like a little animated and i've not shown real people in it i've made it myself out of clay and i think it's like a little expressive to do it without people yeah. and with colors and emotions like that yeah that's brilliant and i think a lot of people uh relate visually a lot more sometimes that's great okay so sonakshi yours is called make the world a better place can you tell us a little bit about your film please yes um, so my film i heard from my parents that how they used to live in a very like kind of an echoing green uh, environment and i feel sad like there is not so much greenery around at this in this generation so i try to um, express my feelings towards this that please you know plant uh, you just plant trees so that again i can see those beautiful blue skies it rains there are no droughts in areas so that's why this was this is what i wanted to express to my uh, lovely that's so nice and that's similar to charvi's right even charvi thought it was very important to speak about the environment charvi why did so tell us about your environment film and then i'll ask you both a question together 
Okay, so I made, an, I made an animated film on the various problems that we are facing and what small steps that we can take as an individual to improve the condition. Okay. And okay, so now Charvi and Sonakshi, what do you think the impact of a film like yours? And I'm not saying just amongst us, if your film was to be shown worldwide, Times Square, New York, and everyone got to see it, what kind of impact do you think films like this can have on the actual environment crisis? So I think Charbi can go first and then Sonakshi, okay? Oh, she's giving us some uh, suspense sound effects. Um, my film language. Charvi, can you hear us? I don't think so. Can you? Okay, we'll come back to her. So Nakshi, same question. What kind of impact do you think these kind of films have? Um, so movies and films are for entertainment. And through entertainment, if we express a very uh, moral story, like a moral story through entertainment, then people might also understand that what she, what the uh, producer or the director of the one who has made the film is trying to express. So through movies, if we convey our feelings, it's more easier for people to understand rather than writing a book and all. Because many people, everyone is interested in movies, but there are some people who are just not interested in books. So I think movie is a very, very good way to express feelings. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Charvi, can you hear us? Do you want to add to that? Yeah. Can you hear me more? Yeah. So I think my film is expressing all the serious problems and the solution to these in a simple and a fun way for every kind of audience. Yeah. So it's a serious topic presented in a simple way for people to understand. Lovely. Okay, next I'm going to speak to Samarth and after that I'm going to speak to you, Amolika. Okay, so Samarth, your film is called Let Me Live. Can we hear a little bit about what your film is about? Uh, yeah, so my film's name is Let Me Live and I'm personally a musician, grade six guitarist and I've heard of many cases about people who don't have, who are physically disabled or who can't hear and have different impairments but music it is what you know helps us grow as a society it's what heals people it can give out strong messages and i just believe that this had to come out and people need to understand the importance of music it's not you know just a time pass or some two minute entertainment but it gives out really important messages and helps a lot of people let me live yeah <laughs> Wow, good one. Okay, that sounds really good. So you basically used one art form to speak about another art form, which is kind of genius. So that's awesome. Okay, up next, Amolika, it's now or never. Tell us about your film. My film is basically about the environment and what a, it, it is about the environment and what we are doing to it we are destroying it so basically environment is what sustains life on earth and at present the earth is under great threat it gives us anything and everything we want from food water medicines anything and i thought we do it gives us anything it doesn't want anything in return but we do not protect it we in return we use plastics we burn coal and do hazardous activities which harms the environment. And that is what inspired me to make this movie. Okay, that's really nice, Amolika. So you and Charvi and who else made that environment film? You're all very passionate about environment, huh? That's good, we need more people like you and you are right, we're not treating our world right. Okay. Up next, I, um, have we gone? Adi Sharma, are you a filmmaker here? Yes. Oh, then come on, say something. Let's hear about your film. What's your film called? Let's hear about it. My film is called The Stormy Day. Um, yeah, what is I, it about? It is about a snake that is trying to eat uh, two birds, yes, but ends up 
only of the film time wow okay i haven't seen your film and i want to see what the snake looks like okay <laughs> so what made so now i'll ask you a question adi now everyone's making environment films everyone making covid films everyone's making gender equality all very important real life things what made you go this route in this fictional route and go proper movie style and make up your story and then shoot it uh, so uh, there was this film which had come to delhi so i had taken a few videos and a few pictures so i had gotten the idea that two birds were there and the snake would come so mm. yeah good stuff and yesterday also there was a, like a few thriller movies and we were talking about how in all this covid and all of that that these are the film these fictional films are the ones that where we turn our news off and we put on these fictional films and we just get soaked up into another world so all types of films are important okay so i think we've covered shorya mathur Shorya Mathur? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yeah, can we please hear about your film? So uh, my film's name is Introspection, and like uh, the main idea of making the film was that to be relatable for all, because we are in a pandemic situation right now, and also personally, I am a peer mentor at my school, so uh, I mentor my fellow students, and if they have any personal issues, problem, I uh, tackle that too, and I like give solutions to that too. So the main motto of our film was to promote the concept of self talk sometimes mm-hmm. self talks uh, help a lot and so is our name of our movie is introspection so this is the story of a boy who is alone in lockdown and whose only past time was to talk to his mother but that too is not helping him right now so how he talks to himself and then comes out of the situation also in order to make the movie complete we also added a story line and we have an open end for the viewer to guess what happened so that's a that's a very very fun way to look at it and a different way to look at it yes so now aman you had raised your hand thanks meeda aman would you like to go next uh, yeah it's so all right i i made my movie about my grandmother it's just uh, it's just to get you get you to know her a little better it's just for fun it doesn't yeah. uh, discuss any important topics it's just something so why did you decide to make it i was i was just talking to my grandmother one day and i and she really likes biopics and documentaries so as a joke i said i'll make one on you and then i did so how fun and how awesome will it be 20 years from now to watch it so much fun all right that sounds amazing so we're nearly done but we still have more time so i wanted to ask azura and charvi both of you have used animation or some kind of uh where you created and then put in a, put it in your editing um thing So how come do you are you guys artists on the side or why did you decide to do it like this instead of shoot the whole film? So yeah, Azura you can go first. Okay. I decided to make it with hand because I didn't have any people around me at that time and also I'm more comfortable making the characters than like people acting for the movie and it was like better comfortable and all. Yeah so do you do a lot of hand modeling otherwise on the side are you like an artist in that way as well My mom is an artist Wow Wow good stuff and Charbi what about you how come you decided to use a little bit of animation too My animation would be more fun and I'm familiar with animation so I thought why not Yeah So can I touch on what uh Oh, Adi Sharma's film is also a claymation film, is it? Adi, no, you're really not saying anything. Come on, you're really cool. You should talk about yourself more. Oh, we want to know you. Even yours, you use clay as well. How come you used clay? You're muted. You're muted. Adi, you're muted. Hmm. 
Hmm. Can you hear me? Okay. I don't think he wants to talk. That's fine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, touching on what Azura said, you remember she said that she didn't have people, she didn't have uh, whatever. She just thought it was more comfortable. Interestingly enough, there is a lovely workshop called DIY Filmmaking that's happening at three o'clock today. And it's being conducted by one of our jury members, okay? His name is Farah Noor, and he was, uh, like Kabir, a participant last year as well. And Farah Noor, like, blew our minds because he was very budgeted in his film, and he was very professional. Like, the, uh, the output was phenomenal. So when he uh, accepted to be a judge this time, we thought Faranur has to teach these young people how he did it because like DIY on a budget, lighting, background, sound, um, shooting, production, it all costs money and time. And Faranur is sitting down like in an intimate uh, group discussion to talk to you all about how to do it in a very efficient way. So if you all wanna join, that workshop that's happening at three o'clock today and y'all would have already received the link and you'll get another link for that okay so my suggestion to everyone is hop in and you can just enter and sit in and check out what Faranu has to say okay all right so can we have everyone's camera on so we can all say a lovely goodbye to one another and that wraps up our film Adda session for today okay did you all have a good time I had, a, I had a great time. Okay, so I hope you all are watching. I hope you all are watching films. I hope you continue making films. And see you all very soon. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. I'm leaving now. <laughs>